We study weekly electric fish as part of our efforts to understand how brains control behavior. The immediate question that anyone has, of course, is why study weekly electric fishes? What properties do these fish have that make them especially helpful in unlocking the mysteries of the neural basis of behavior? Weekly electric fish generate an electric field that they use in social communication and localizing nearby objects. This field is generated by a specialized organ in the tail and along the side of the fish. They detect these electric fields using specialized receptors embedded in their skin, known as electroreceptors. This fish, Hygemania varescens, has another entertaining feature. This dark spot in the back of its head is its brain. It is visible through its transparent skull. There are over 300 species of weekly electric fishes in the Amazon basin, and even more found in the streams and rivers of Africa. This species, Apteronotus leptorhynchus, also has an electric organ in its tail and electroreceptors in its skin. Their electric fields are weak. You will never feel the shock of these fishes, but you can use a pair of wires and a cheap speaker to eavesdrop on their electric fields. These are wave-type fish, Eigenmania and Apteronotus. And these are pulse type fish. The electric field spreads in the water around the fish, extending perhaps a meter around each individual. Any object that has a different resistance, like a rock or a prey item, will change the strength of the electric field on a localized area on the skin. The fish also detect each other's electric fields, which are detected by electroreceptors all over the body a global stimulus. The electric field allows complex behaviors at night, like capturing a small prey item, the red dot, in complete darkness. So how do weekly electric fish help us understand how brains work? Animals have sensory cells that convert signals in the environment into patterns of electrical pulses in the nervous system. These patterns of pulses are integrated in computations in the brain that are eventually used to control musculoskeletal systems for behavior. Electric fish are helpful because many of their behaviors rely on electricity, the same currency as the nervous system, allowing researchers to focus on neural codes. Recent studies in weekly electric fish have examined their behavioral responses during social communication, including chirping and changes in their electrical signals known as envelope responses. Other studies have focused on refuge tracking, allowing a detailed analysis of feedback control for locomotor behavior. These laboratory studies are complemented by exciting field work that has provided new insights into the control of animal behavior. Thanks for watching.